going on, y'all? It's your boy, Younger Loose, the artist. Um, I'm gonna do a tutorial today showing you how to paint or custom paint foam posits. There's a lot of ridges, as you see, in the foam posits. There's that shiny, clear coat that you can see once the light uh, hits the, the accent. First thing you need to do is have your, this, I got this at CVS, but it's a, a nail polish rem remover, acetone. This is gonna take that gloss coat right off. Cotton balls, also from CVS. I got a plug, they need to give me some free stuff, so. Blue tape, you're gonna need uh, X-Acto knife, uh, Angelus leather paint that I have here. You can paint it with a paintbrush, or you can uh, paint it with an airbrush, whatever works easier for you. I'm gonna use both. I'm gonna use the airbrush to get the background image done, and then I'm gonna use the uh, the brush to actually paint in the little Pokemon characters. That's what we're doing, working on some Pokemon foam pods. Okay, first thing we're gonna need to do is, uh, we're gonna need to take these laces out, all right, to get this going. So, that's what we're gonna do now. As you can see, they're off. We're gonna use the acetone to take off this, this gloss that you see here, the sheen. Alright, so you just dab it in there. So you kind of got to just scrub it till you get it dull. It's really the preparation that takes the time. I got the 100% acetone. You don't need any of that other extra stuff in it, like the good smelling stuff. That's for nails, man. We're not doing nails here, we're doing, we're doing sneakers, we're doing heat, you know what I'm saying? I started and I forgot a uh, uh, very important thing. I need gloves. You see my fingers? They look crazy ashy right now. And it's not good for your skin. Got the gloves. <laughs> Took a lot of the shine off of both the sneakers. So now I'm ready to go and start uh, painting. But before we start painting, we have to tape it up. I usually use the thicker kind, the 3M, but Probably about like the three inch one, two and a half inch. This is what I have on me right now. I left everything at my store like an idiot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tape up the sole. We're gonna paint the inside. The sole we're gonna keep the same. So we're gonna start with the taping. I'm gonna try to do is get to the edge, the corner right here where it goes in. We wanna kinda go with that curve. So we'll get it close as possible, but and then we'll push it in so that it actually pushes into the curve. Now that we have the bottom of the shoe taped up, um, we're gonna cut it in the indent so I can take off and I can separate the sole from the top part of the shoe. Okay, so as you're about to see, I did a, I did one section as you're about to see, and uh, you know this should come right off. See how this peels right back? I cut with the zigzags in the indents of the line, so now you're taped up the sole. So when you paint it, you get a good crisp clean line. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're now going to airbrush. This machine is called the airbrush. And we're now going to put the color, which is yellow, into the airbrush. And we're now going to spray the foam posits yellow. If you do not have this airbrush, you can use a paintbrush and uh, you know just dip it in and, and stroke the, uh, the foam posit uh, about three times. You have to let it dry. Uh, same with the airbrush, about two to three times of overlay. So here we go. Okay, 
so one layer is now done. We are going to start on the second layer of yellow. Shake up the paint. second layer is now finally dry I'm going to hit it with a gold I'm gonna give it like um, kind of a wash effect okay so if you I don't know if you could really see too good in the camera but I now put that little hint of gold where the yellow is because it kind of has like a washed look and it has that metallic look that most foams do have. So it's coming out pretty cool. Um, once I'm done with this, I'm pretty much finished. I'm going to take the top layer of tape off and then I'm going to hit it with a paintbrush in yellow because if we hit it with the yellow again, it's going to create another mist that goes over the gold. I don't really want that, so I'm going to have a crisp line of yellow. So I'm going to use the paintbrush to paint in the uh, top layer where the white is. You'll see as I take off the tape. And like I said, I don't mind for the overspray because I'm going to paint this in yellow. I'm going to now paint the white up top, yellow, with the paintbrush. I'll probably need about two layers because it's white underbase. If it was any other color underbase, I'd probably need a few different layers. Um, or I'd have to hit it with white, a few hits of white. Okay, so what we have here is the first layer of yellow. Don't worry about, about it being perfect the first time because the second layer or third layer, whatever you would like to use, will uh, clean it up and make it look a little bit more opaque. That's one layer. We're about to start on the uh, second layer of yellow at the top. So um, we put the first layer down. I'm probably gonna hit it with two or three layers of the gold in the back up top here because it's a little transparent. But what I'm gonna do for now while it's drying up a little bit, I'm just gonna take, I mean, you shouldn't do this, but I'm gonna do it because I have other things I gotta get done with. Um, I'm gonna take the bottom tape off because at this point we're gonna use the paintbrush for everything. And for me, I mean, for you, you can leave it on just in case. Uh, for me, I have steady hands, so I'm just going to use the paintbrush. I know what I'm doing, um, but look how clean that looks. Okay, now that I've hit the back with two layers, um, I'll show you. I hit it with two layers of gold. Now that I've hit the back with two layers of gold to give it that real contrast, I'm now going to do the little detail, which is put in the gold. You need a really, really, really small brush, really thin brush. Okay, so now that we put the little accent gold in the, uh, in the tongue, and we put the little accent gold in the Nike sign, um, this pretty much looks like a actual a customized sneaker. I mean, it is a customized sneaker, but this looks like it's done right now. A lot of people would just say, hey, I want this like this. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually add some Pokemon characters. Um, not many. Since this is the yellow edition, it's the Pikachu edition, I'm gonna put um, a little version of Pikachu and Ash, maybe Ryachu on the other sneaker, maybe a little design on the other side, and then my own little input, my own little art style on the uh, on the kicks and then I'm good to go.
okay so there you go that is the finished product of the first sneaker the first foam posit I just free handed everything pretty much if you see the details you can see uh, you know it's very detailed around it it's my little shapes that I, I add to uh, my uh, some of my artwork you see the last name there on the loose it's hidden in there it kind of has like a tribal cool kind of look just clean with that graphic I think it came out pretty sick what do you guys think <laughs>